A very important component of AJAX involves displaying the results that you download from the server. For example, you've already seen the Google Suggest page that looks like this at the URL you see in the browser here. And all you've got to do is enter a partial search term, and like this, for example, A and AJ for AJAX, and you see a, res a bunch of results displayed in a drop-down list box, as you see here. So the display aspect of, of AJAX is very important, not just fetching data behind the scenes, but also being able to display that data in a web page without having to refresh the web page entirely. As you see here, this application simply displays the part that matches you to the partial term you've already typed from Google in a drop-down list box, and you can select whichever match you find, find most appropriate, or you can keep on typing. For example, if you type A for AJAX, AJA, -A, then Google will suggest a number of AJAX matches for you, in particular 3,840,000 possible possible matches for you. But the important point here is how this how this works. There is no page refresh necessary. AJAX is interactively displaying matches to your partial search term in the web page. You can select from this drop-down list box any of these possible matches that you might find interesting. So that's an important part of AJAX is that the web page is updated using the data downloaded from the server. And a, a drop-down list box is a very useful technique. It's only one possible technique used in AJAX applications. Here's another one. This is the Rico homepage. Rico is a very impressive package that lets you develop, among other things, AJAX applications and here is here's an example it's at this URL as you see there here's an example the Ajax Rolodex if you select one of these names just by clicking it then their card their Rolodex card will appear here where this text is now automatically downloaded by using Ajax and using dynamic HTML techniques that we're going to see more about later on in this class the Rolodex car will be displayed automatically, just like a desktop application might. For example, if you click this first entry, you'll see the card for the first entry appear without a page refresh. The data was, was collected from the server. Actually, what happened was this person's name was sent to the server. The data was collected from the server, recovered, and in JavaScript, the rest of the application that uses JavaScript to display that data in a nice form as you see here in a Rolodex card you can select other names as well and the Rolodex card will change to display the um, person's the person's data there you go it's on and on and on and the point here is that not only is the data fetched behind the scenes but it's also important how you display that data when you after you fetched it like this. This is a very nice example, allowing you to see data displayed in a very nice format using Rolodex cards. We're going to be using AJAX ourselves and developing AJAX ourselves in a number of ways to handle the display of that data. This is a more rudimentary example you've already seen and when you click the display message button the text the display the fetch text will go here is replaced with data fetched using AJAX techniques as you see like this 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 text was fetched using AJAX and then the point is that it's very important that you know how to update a web page using data that was fetched using AJAX techniques from the web server it's an important part of AJAX, and as a matter of fact, uh, it's a, it's it's worth a, worth a large amount of discussion, and we're going to discuss it in some depth later on. Because not only do you not only do you display the data fetched from the server, but also the way you display that data is important. Because if the user doesn't notice that, this is a big discussion point among the, in the AJAX community. If the user doesn't notice that your the web page was changed, they might overlook it and click the button again, for example, to cause a second interaction with the server, which is 
the wrong thing to have done. So you might want to, for example, highlight your text, your fetch text in red for a few seconds to make sure the user realizes that the text has been fetched. And other techniques we'll be using as well later on. But the important issue here is that not only is Ajax about fetching data from the server, it's also about displaying that data in the web page without a web page refresh. And so that's a topic we'll be discussing more and more as time goes on.